Carrie Garen Scoggins Political Newsletter, Bible Prophecy Times Edition Update. One must remember, when asking the question, is it a sin to vote Democrat? That the Democratic Party platform supports that that opposes Romans chapter 1 with same-sex marriage, as well as keeping abortion legal, late-term abortion, the abortion pill, and even keeping the abortion pill over-the-counter for all ages without prescription. Remembering that the scripture says, if you support these things, those who do these things, and those who support those who do these things, you are supporting them with your vote, that, quote, their blood will be upon your hands. It would be as though you committed the abortions yourself. If you support these things with your vote, according to Scripture, it's the same as if you have done these things yourself. The Democratic Party also supported keeping pornography legal. Back in the days when it was actually up for debate, should it be legal for the general public? Now the idea, through liberalism and the Democratic Party's saturation, of an anti-Christian society is that it would be unheard of to even add an extra tax in on pornography. They didn't mind adding a sin tax in for alcohol and cigarettes, but certainly not their pornography. Ask yourself, do you really have to ask if it's a sin? And if you have to ask it's a sin, it's probably not in that gray area. There's a reason you're asking yourself this question. If you're supporting sin with your vote, according to Scripture, it's the same as if you've done it yourself. It's those who do these things and those who support those who do these things. If you supported it with your vote, God will find you guilty of it on Judgment Day. Remember, it was the Democratic Party, Pelosi and Obama, that added into the hate speech laws Censorship of Bible scriptures such as Romans chapter 1 on homosexuality, which was overturned by the Federal Supreme Court. Even though the Federal Supreme Court overturned the hate speech laws, the illegal Bible censorship was stopped, but it's the mere fact that the Democratic Party suggested such a thing. They wanted to criminalize the Bible, calling it hate, and this is a blasphemous act. The scripture says, Woe be unto those that call good evil and evil good. It is a blasphemous act to refer to Bible scriptures, such as that on homosexuality, as hate. It violated separation of church and state, keeping the state out of the church, and therefore the law was overturned. But again, it's the principle of the fact that the Democratic Party wanted this to be illegal. Ask yourself, do you want to vote for a political party that wants to censor the Bible? Keep in mind, Daniel's chapter 13 states clearly the Antichrist will lack the desire for a woman, knowing that this is going to be a system that supports same-sex marriage. It is very clear that the Democratic Party platform is the same as what the Bible describes as the Antichrist beast system. We call it liberalism, but we know exactly where it is rooted in, the Democratic Party platform. And remember, you're not voting for the man, you're voting for that party platform. If they run as a Democrat and take money from the Democratic Party, they have to support that party platform. What we're really dealing with here are Christians who want to compromise the gospel, compromise their beliefs. Maybe their parents and their parents before them all voted Democrat, but this is not the party of your grandparents. This is the party bringing in the Antichrist beast system into America. And at some point you have to make the choice. As, as for me and my house, we shall serve the Lord. You have to do so in how you vote as well. It's those who do these things and those who support those who do these things. If you go out and vote that way, you're voting in support of it. It may be a tradition in your family to vote Democrat, but Jesus said, Beware of traditions of man. 
all Christians in the book of Revelations that God is referring to that are lukewarm, neither hot nor cold, are those that compromise the word of God. They let sin in the door and they justify it. They will come up with some reason to justify allowing this sin, whether it's on a national level by voting it into office, keeping it legal, or saying they're just supporting someone else's legal right to choose to sin. Being a liberal Democrat is trendy. And the scripture says, as many as the sands of the sea will follow this Antichrist beast system. You are to come out of Babylon. To be a friend of the world is to be an enemy of God. It is time the church comes out of Babylon. Stopping supporting the world system. Do not vote it into office. They call them the Christian religious right, Republicans for a reason. It's over that party platform. If they run under that party, they have to support that party platform in order to get money from the party. Remember that when you vote. This has been another edition of Kerry Garen Scoggins Political Newsletter Bible Prophecy Times Edition Update. Look for more information. Kerry Garen Scoggins Political Newsletter and Kerry Garen Scoggins Political Newsletter Bible Prophecy Times Edition. Facebook pages and bloggers. 